Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have our alternative bill for the Lego Ninjago movie Master Falls 70608, which is a set that has a great bridge and tropical ruins design, but we felt it lacked play features. So we focused on making our build more fun for play, and after some time building we created the alternative build we're calling the Ninjago City Dock Attack, which includes a dock build with a Gama Crab vehicle. So if you want to make this build, you can check out the step-by-step -step build tutorial at the end, but first let's review the build. And starting with spares, we only ended up with three parts left over, which you could add to the build if you wanted to use them up. Now the city dock is mainly built of stone and has a good tropical Ninjago design, so it can blend into a Ninjago city scene, and it has two sections that pier on the left and dock on the right, which is where we will go first. Because on this side we created a dark grey walkway that has stone columns holding it up on the blue water base. We also attached torches to tan railings for extra detail, and we added a tree on the side for a tropical touch. Further up, built onto the walkway, is this simple shop front that's been made from door and window frame pieces, masonry bricks, and statues, which all combines well to create the perfect dock scene backdrop. Then to fill out the top of this wall, we made this hanging lantern from grey dish pieces that's clipped on a tan bar so it could light up the walkway. And to decorate the roof, we thought we'd make use of the original build's bridge railing to make an oriental wooden overhang that has palm tree leaves above to finish its design. Moving round to get from the dock to the pier, there's a small staircase in between both builds that nicely links them for structure and play. Now the pier build is our favourite part of the dock because it looks great plus will be the best place to play out your battles and display your minifigures. You can also see that it's been raised up on a stone brick structure that sits on blue water plates. And in the centre of this structure we built an archway like a bridge which is where we thought you could hide the skeleton with his map who now takes on the role of a lost pirate who has an ancient map the ninja need to discover. Following on from the stone structure on top, we built a wooden pier by using the bridge links as planks, and we added bamboo railing either side. We also tied a rope from the railing to this mooring post that contributes to the pier's seaside look, with the plants growing around it, but this rope's not just there for show because it's where Wu can train Kai to get better at climbing. And if we swivel to the other side, the pier's just got a similar stone construction with blue plates below for water. Then right at the back of the whole build, there's a tropical plant down low for detail, and you can see that it's quite hollow due to the limited pieces. So that nicely completes the dock build, but we're not finished yet because we promised we would make this build fun for play. So we decided to make a pier collapse play feature that's activated from the back here, because all you have to do is slide out this plate mechanism to collapse the planks, but the best bit is you can slide it back in to rebuild the pier instantly. And this feature is fun to use with Kai again and again, or with any of the minifigures to blow up the pier in battle. So overall the dock build has a good maritime tropical design, but what we think will really win over fans is the collapsing pier that will make this build a nice addition to your Ninjago collection. Next up, to make use of the leftover parts, we thought we'd focus on a build for Jungle Garmadon. So we made him a Garma Crab, which is a mechanical crab that we will admit does have a crude design, but it works well in play. Because we've used lots of cage bar parts to make eight green and brown movable legs that provide good stability to the vehicle. Then for combat, at the front we made pincers by putting grey spiky pieces onto four green arms, which we found work well as crab pincers because they can move, so they will be deadly to use on the ninja. Now above the pincers for a second weapon, we built Garmadon a trans blue laser cannon that could be used to blast the pier. And directly behind this cannon is that Garma Crab's round blue head that has two scorpions guarding the cockpit, which is where you can place in Jungle Garmadon to take control of the vehicle. Then finally, at the back, we made use of this odd brown part to give the Garma Crab a tailpiece. And now Jungle Garmadon can swim in to attack the dock's pier with his Garma Crab to destroy it and stop the ninja. So overall, as you've just seen, the Garma Crab is a nice extra vehicle for Garmadon that could always be improved on with parts from your own collection. On a final note, our Ninjago City Dock Attack alternative build was an ambitious build to make because we knew it needed play features and with the parts we had at hand, it wasn't easy to make. However, in the end, we loved our creations because Wu, Kai and Jungle Garmadon can enjoy the detailed dock build that we feel could blend into the Ninjago City. It's also a fun place to battle around with its walkway, hidden skeleton and collapsible pier that's super easy to use plus fun to collapse with lots of minifigures on it. Then to really bring the set to life, we knew a vehicle was needed and the Garma Crab, even though it's a crude build, works well with Jungle Garmadon because its poseable limbs are perfect for destroying the pier from the sea. 
So if you like the build like we do and want to make it, then watch on now to see our step-by-step -step build tutorial. And that's the finished build, so now you can enjoy our Ninjago City Dock Attack alternative build, or maybe you've taken inspiration from the build to make something more awesome. 
Hope you enjoyed the Brick Bros UK alternative build and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.